um, you're resting or attempting to rest up. So let me get the appropriate theme running. And um, was anybody doing anything specific other than just trying their absolute best to find a spot to rest up? Raisa is sitting at the top of the stairs. Okay. That makes sense. Anybody else doing anything specific? He is going to oh. snuggle with Marlo. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> and Marlo is trying her best to rest, but she keeps waking up to check on uh, Radovan because she's super <laughs> nervous now. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, you all begin to snuggle down. Um, everybody make a listen check for me. Oh, God. <laughs> But if I'm trying to sleep, do I... Yay! Race against the first one! <laughs> Got that out of the way. A one. What? Uh, you put a space, space between the D. Figures! There okay. you go. <laughs> <laughs> you jinxed yourself. Oh my god, I actually rolled higher than what? That's unheard of. Rather than got a 21. <laughs> and Kia! A one. Man, it's a good job we weren't betting on ones tonight. <laughs> that would be that would be over real quick. Oh yeah. So everybody clearly is tone deaf except um Marlo Radavan and Radavan. Maybe so much flesh was burned off That's of his ears. His all, eardrum. The wax, all the <laughs> earwax ear was burned gone. from his ears. <laughs> He's just pure <laughs> eardrum now. Okay. Um somewhere further into the room, you hear a sound that kind of sounds like teeth chattering, like Psst. Uh, Kia? Hmm? I'm trying to sleep, but I keep hearing te chattering teeth. What does no. that mean? I, that's just me. I rolled a one, right? That's just me. <laughs> I'm cold. Wait, is that real? <laughs> Wait, is that, where do we hear the chattering teeth? Now Jane's confusing me. Uh, you and Marlo thought you heard it somewhere deep inside the room, but you could be okay. mistaken. Maybe it is Jane. And Kia is saying it's her because she rolled a one and she thinks she's not hearing it <laughs> herself. <laughs> okay. I hear it too, but I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. Well, why don't you guys keep, you and Raisa keep your eye out on the stairs. Yeah, when it's I been do that. I mean, I don't think whatever it is is going to get past the acid, so... Well, there's a trough of water. Try. It seems <laughs> safe. Oh, it could walk through the water, yeah. Oh. The hell? Uh, guys? <laughs> What's guys? Up? Mm -hmm. Yes. Skull? Uh, if you are able to see it with your character's vision, uh, and oh let's have boy. a look, just, oh just because uh, if you're new to chat, this is what it looks like for, um, so here's Rayso. Wait, 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 before you do that, uh, I still have control of Kia, so I actually see what she's Oh, seeing. everybody yeah. has control of Kia. Yeah, yeah. I was about that. to say, there's no way I can see Guys, that. Guys, Kia, while you were around, be my we, own person. while Jane was away, we all passed Kia Into the acid, Kia. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we all passed Kia around. Okay. Um, awesome. Give me a second and we I will. We took turns rolling for you. Yeah. <laughs> They all took turns. And just out of Stop. curiosity, how long has it been since we started resting? Oh, about 15 minutes. Oh, gosh, Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second here, and I'm going to go ahead. Um, We're in a tight spot. And edit this. And we'll take out all players. And we'll take it, shag it. There you go. Okay, so you should have all been robbed of Kia, your, your, your Kia ness. Nope. Give, it, give it a second. Okay. Yeah, I no longer can so control Kia. I can still oh, there see we go. See okay. Uh, you, you can probably still see because Radavan's radiating. No. You can see? Mm hmm. What was, was that there before? <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you can see it now. Um, so what I was going to show chat... Um, My vision's way too good for what I am. Well, 
the that's because the skull is actually radiating light. Oh, see. Um, it's actually glowing. So um, this is what Kia Liana sees. Got it. Okay. And so I turn and I see the skull too then. Uh, yep, if you're looking in the right direction, you can see it. Okay. Well, I'm telling everybody. Yep. Well, Guys, that's creepy as hell. <laughs> what does Marlo see? Yeah, uh, see it, it looks like everybody can see it, basically, because we're between, I think, between the fire bracers, Radovan's light, and the skull, they kind of all interject, which illuminates that entire area. So, yes, there is a okay. very large, probably about four foot like a four foot skull floating in the air and it is kind of like a, a very faint purple mist around it that it almost seems to be floating on no purple mist no and it's a radiating <laughs> light for probably about 15 to 20 feet does everybody else see that uh yeah <laughs> what the hell can i do knowledge arcana on the mist and floating skull sure because 20 oh 14 it definitely could be a spell um, of some kind but never really heard of anything specifically exactly like mm. this like a float a hey, and the skull I, is, is very large yeah can I do a I'll check to see if I think it's a spell sure. or a monster okay it's where is his head <laughs> it's come back to haunt them <laughs> this is where I get my 20 guys do Don't it. Worry. Oh, almost. Okay. Um. Almost. Again, it definitely could be a spell. I mean, there's a new, there's numerous spells that could be used to create this effect. Um, okay. Much like Radovan, um, the one thing you're really like a little bit dubious of though is why a four foot skull. Right. It's the ghost of Renazin. <laughs> I'm actually oh. going to. Oh. I was going to say, I'm going to draw my bow. I'm going to go to the foot of the stairs, and I'm just going to raise my, you know, shield and say, Hello there! It <laughs> neither moves or acknowledges you. It is just floating, hovering right there. Answer us! Are you friend or foe? Oh, try not to antagonize it, Kia. <laughs> it still answers with a dead silence. <sighs> Listen, we're good people. Can you let us rest a little bit, and then we'll get back to you? It's <laughs> like eight hours, maybe. Like you're, you're floating skulls, so I think we can make that work. As long as it's not coming toward us, I mean. Bonus experience points for sarcasm. <laughs> um, it's no, it's still hovering there, like okay. motionless and still. Well, Guys, could it have been there when we came in and we just now noticed it? It's Irish. It's the ghost of Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> we come on behalf of Renison. No, I pretty think much. We just... should just sleep, and the other two should stare at it. Yeah, you guys rest, and we'll keep watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We won't. We won't quite uh, attack it yet. All right. So you guys are going to try to rest regardless, and just the yep. the non spell requiring folk are going to just watch. Yeah, it. we're going to keep an eye on it. <laughs> yep. All right. I've got my bow out and ready. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, well, it does not move at all. Um, and if you continue to sit there and just scowl at it for an entire eight hours. It isn't going to move then either. So you yes! actually amazingly do get rest. I'm quite, that I'm quite amazed awesome. that y'all bothered, that y'all didn't immediately try to interfere with it. So, <laughs> I mean, you know how know. Kia is. Let's touch He's it. He's getting smarter. Let's, Let's touch, touch it. it. Let's go touch the things. <laughs> awesome. Right. Wake up, pray to. Do we Mr. get like Huffage. plus one or two or anything? Do we get heal checks? Um, you get your one natural back from your rest. One natural. And okay. then uh, everyone's. Uh, so I got. Uh, I've got Shaggett's list of. Cute, cute. Please, can I have these spells? <laughs> please, please, sir. Can I have some more? All right. No, you can have what you've got, and that's it. I can have what I. I can have what I have, but nothing yeah. else. All right. <laughs> 
Um, I need to heal a lot of people, don't I? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Misa, Misa, I need healing. <laughs> All right, so I'll do Cure Series on myself. Okay. Um, that's the 3d8 one, right? That's a selfish move. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 3d8 yeah. plus, plus 9. Sh 23. For 23. All right. All right. So um, with your plus 1, that brings you up to 49. Yes. And for now, I'll leave it at that. Uh, what about the rest of you? I'm 21 down. Everybody feel everybody else looks pretty beat up. I mean, no one's like near death, but nobody's looking unscathed either. They're all pretty battle worn. I use a cure minor wounds on myself to heal an extra one, so I'm at fifty. <laughs> just because I'm I just like, your <laughs> anal. Because I can't fucking do it. I'm sixteen um, out of thirty-three. All right, so um, I think one one good hit would kill me. That's One almost good, that's always, almost always the case, really, isn't it? Really, yeah. You're always so. gonna die. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna um, cast uh, wait not yet. I'm doll, thanks for that mind. follow. I'll do a cure series on Marlo, because she's pretty down there too, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm twenty four out of fifty five. I'll pray my rolls are actually decent. And by yep. decent I mean not at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, um the one you healed naturally is twenty five plus eighteen. Shit, I have to do a, mo um, a moderate on her, don't I? I really do. So God you're damn at it. 43 right now, right? Marlo? Plus 18, yeah. yeah. So she's at four, with, the, with, the, with the one that she rest, one point from resting, and then your 18 puts her on 43. Alright, so this is for Raysa. There you go. Thank you, that's a full heal. Okay, so Raysa, you're up to how many? 47. Alright. Race is now back to awesome. Heal me, heal me. <laughs> and that leaves Kia. That greeting <laughs> voice just drives me crazy. Uh, here, here, here's a light for you. All right, Kia. <laughs> Thank you. And by light, he hands you a Better small torch. Freaking roll an eight. Okay, that's good. Eleven. I think we're okay. I think we're pretty decent. And I didn't burn through like all my spells that I just. <laughs> so Radavan's on fifty, Marlo forty-three, Racer forty-seven, and Kia on twenty-seven. <laughs> Well, before we do anything, I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. All right. Same. Same, same. same. You're casting Mage Armor on yourself? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I have 15 armor class, and now I have 19. You have Mage Armor? I do. Magic Vestment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The it's my equivalent. it's my domain spell, so yeah. that's fine. Cool. All okay. Right. So that basically bumps both of your ACs up by four. Awesome. And then I'm going to turn to Kian and say, uh, can I have your ring? Excuse me? That special ring of yours. You want it? Well, it's a ring of protection. I'm missing protection. <laughs> I take a lot more hits than you. Um, okay. But just don't let it fall off your pinky. Because that's the only thing it's going to fit on. What? <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Oh, <laughs> so that was a ring of protection plus two. Yeah. Okay. So that puts Radavan on twenty-one AC. Then I think. Well, that's a little bit more decent. Without I think... mail. There you go. And it puts Kia on <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Eighteen. Oh wait, what was it? A plus two. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> so you're down to what? Sixteen to with mage. Seventeen with mage yeah. armor. Yeah. There you go. You're Screw fine. You. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure. If the reason I die is because of like two points, I will murder you <laughs> in your sleep. In your Dude, sleep. if that happens, that'll be just effing amazing. Oh, you speak <laughs> dead just to say he's sorry. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry. How? Do, where do I put this on my thing? Like on my sheet? I don't. There's armor name and then shield, but not anyway. Whatever. It'll come under bonus. Ability bonus. Got it. There's AC bonus. Yeah, I see it. I see it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, after healing up, buffing up, and getting yourself situated, you are still standing in the far corner of the room below the stairs, <laughs> on the stairs, staring at a four foot floating skull. <sighs> what if it has laser eyes, and if we get close, it's going to beam us? 
Should we send Cal over there? <laughs> this is pride. pride <laughs> I'm Cal. scared. You want to send? Okay, so you're sending Cal across. I'm gonna tell Cal to fly not quickly, just like go hover over the pit of acid and like just slowly <laughs> go closer, and then maybe circle around it by like this far away from it. All right. So. Okay. Here's Cal. Goodbye, Cal. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> All right. Once Cal gets over here, it actually starts to turn to follow him as he begins to fly around the room. Hmm. It doesn't do anything, but it eyeballs him. So then I'll ask Cal what's over there on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. All right. Um, he comes back and tells you there's nothing to the north. There is like an open doorway with some green shimmering light across the door. And there's also four great big chests in the room as well. Mm. Oh, and just in case you never saw it, a big floating skull. Oh, thank you. So gray shimmering light going across the doorway? A uh, green. Green. Shimmering light, yes. Okay. Four chests. Hmm. Is a skull named Murray <laughs> or Mort? Well, I mean, I will repeat that to everybody. So the skull never moved; it just looked, right? Uh, yeah, it basically just rotated to keep its eyes pointing wherever Cal was. I feel like the chests are all traps, but I really want what's inside of all of them. <laughs> I don't think they're traps. I think I want all the traps that are in there. <laughs> I think this is the the treasure. You think we're here? I do. I feel like the moment we try to touch one, that skull's gonna go crazy. I agree. <laughs> well, I mean, we have to get over there first, so... Air walk over the acid pit? <laughs> or walk along these troughs and pray that the water doesn't turn into a trap themselves? How deep are the troughs, actually? Um, looks like no more than about two or three inches. They're, like, pretty pretty low. I mean, sorry, like, uh, two or three feet. So you, you, you would be no more than maybe waist deep. So I put my, I'm gonna put my my finger not with the ring on it to see if it's acid water <laughs> because really you want to use your finger for that there's nothing else you could have thought to use instead of flesh just <laughs> we're doing it man All okay right? um, yeah. so uh, and don't forget you have the head of your morning star still yes right okay um nope. and you said like the handle and shit was broken yeah so yeah I put it away I just have my shield yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, it's it's kind of cold and wet, but it doesn't burn your finger in any way. It doesn't attempt to dissolve you. Well, that's a good thing, right, guys? <laughs> hey, Milky. What's up? I mean, we're going to have to go over there anyway, so... Uh, Radovan? <laughs> yes? Do you, do you want this? I know it's not much, and I'm going to extend uh, the axe. What is it? It's a... your, little, your hand axe? Yeah. It, that's something, I guess. Oh, thanks. Hand axe. It does d6 damage. Okay. Are you good so, with bows, Radovan? Uh, I'm not really range inclined, but I do accept the axe happily. <laughs> okay. So it's just a basic hand axe? Is that the deal? Uh, it is specifically a short axe. Yep. So yeah, 1d6, I think, is yep. the... One d six hand axe. Okay, so one d six. Uh huh. Now go be a tank. With the hand axe. <laughs> yes. Rather than forgets that there's acid in the middle of the room and oh no no no. Yeah. <laughs> I like yes. this shitty. How, how far does your lightning spell work? Uh, hundred and twenty feet, I think. I, guys, I don't think we should antagonize the skull. I mean, Cal swam. I think we should try to. Yeah. Um, I could. If we want to go try to open the chests, I could prepare a ring of fire. It would probably just fly right over it. Never mind. <laughs> that was the worst idea. Well, if you want to get closer, I guess. 
if you could. Mm. Can't stay well, here forever. Let's let's get closer then. Are we going through the water? I think that's better than the acid. Yeah. yeah. Oh god, what'd I do? Okay, well your foot's wet and you're kind of wading you're you know, you're kind of just above your waist. But seems to have no detrimental effect on you so far. I am going to cast Resist Energy on myself. Okay. And I guess my focus is going to be Sonic? I don't know. It's a chattering thing. <laughs> okay. Like, I could do Acid, ironically. Um, <laughs> but could have, yeah. <laughs> Information that could have been useful <laughs> yesterday! <laughs> I guess I'll do Sonic. Okay. That's a weird choice, though, but... Why not? Let's Are you it. saying this out loud? Because Kia has comments on that. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, nope. It's all my internal okay. monologue. <laughs> but I am, I am directly behind you, Kia. Just so you know. Okay, okay. The skull seems to be like dividing its attention between you. Okay. So let's split up and then see which one he looks at to see if, or if he, his eyes go cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's investigate the rest of the room before we walk, Marlo. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Excuse us. Raisa, you know, it doesn't seem to be antagonizing us yet, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. want, now do you want me to check for traps? Check for traps, please. Something else that would have been useful yesterday. <laughs> 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 Through no fault of Raisa's. I offered. All right, let's get the dice up. 26. All right, so you kind of search the area directly in front of you. Um, seems to be fairly fairly safe. You know, can't find anything dubious or untoward. Where do you want me to search, Radovan? The, the chests themselves? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable getting <laughs> that close the to that thing. down south. Let me go this way. I'm going to head down the wall. All right, so you're like going down here, searching for traps yeah. in this area. Okay, nope, you find nothing. So um, there's a very, here? very faint kind of staticky hum coming from the field in the doorway, like a real, real quiet, like. Okay. And periodically, you hear like a like a little crack. Uh, this sounds kind of shocking. Great. Radavan's like, damn it, I should have. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell me I have electricity. Alright. I'm just gonna I'm gonna examine this plate here. Alright. Um it is clearly a raised pressure plate, like no attempt to hide it whatsoever. <laughs> huh. Yep, don't step on this. <laughs> you put cow on it, see what happens. Rather than don't. Uh or put something on it to see what ha oh, well maybe that's not a good idea yeah, it's not hiding it so it's uh, I assume it wouldn't do anything terrible right <laughs> unless that's sure like a, a mind Farmer. game and he's like we're not going to hide this trap and then they're going to think it's not a trap and then they're going to press the button oh. but what if he thought that you might think that no that's not going to alright do you want me to get closer to that chest what are you going to do if that skull comes after me I got some ideas, don't worry. One of which is to run back up the stairs now. <laughs> I got your back, Raisa, don't worry. Yeah, you know, trust me. Alright, you examine the area floor directly in front of it over here. Seems safe. Is the skull, a skull still looking at... Oh, oh it moved. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Yep, it kind of moved to the f middle of the room. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Uh, examine the chest, but don't obviously check. You know, Radovan, I'm right beside you, so I'm gonna be like, try talking to it again. Actually, I'm gonna skirt across over to where Marlo is. All right. Okay, uh, Raisa, you're examining the chest, but not touching. Yeah, I actually want to take a closer up look at it and just okay. kind of. Um, it appears to be a large chest. Surprisingly, um, <laughs> there is no lock. There is just like a, a latch that you would lift up. Like there is a place where a lock could be, but there is no lock in place. 
Hmm. <sighs> uh, there's no lock on this. It's kind of weird. Uh, huh. Mr. Uh, you know, Mr. Bleachbone over there. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Or it's or woman. You could have been a woman. <laughs> big to be a woman. Um, That's a huge bitch. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Or it was, at least. <laughs> Four uh, foot skull, hell. Do you do you want, I don't want to say anything to us, or are you just, you know? Nope. It, it just seems to continually just kind of like be perusing and keeping its eye on you. You checking that second chest? Yeah, let me take a look at it. Um, other than the chest itself being designed a little differently, the catch and lock mechanism is identical. Nothing more than a lift up latch and... Hmm. Fun. Huh. Uh, I don't feel comfortable going any further. You want to play spin the skull? Oh. <laughs> um, spin the I skull. Mean, closer, maybe it'll turn and look at me. Yeah. Oh, hey, roll 20. Come on. You moved on our screen. <laughs> yeah, you moved on ours, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it like it's checking on you, but it keeps going back to check on them as well. Pardon me, sir. Hello. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. <laughs> Anybody speak undead? Ah, oh, God, this thing is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It needs punching. Maybe no. compliment <laughs> it. That's a nice Sir, your, your head glow shape. you have. <laughs> your glowy oh. purple is pretty. You have one of those rare head shapes that works really well with being bald. <laughs> <laughs> alright, 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 alright. So we can either antagonize the skull. <laughs> okay. We can try to touch the skull and see what happens. We can go on the pressure plate and see what happens. Or we can try to open one of these chests and see what happens. Um, a lot of scene. Uh, a lot I, of... I say... We don't know what it can do. Well, it's... Right. Magical skulls. Uh, we've seen them sort of before. Not this specifically, but... Mm. They they do <sighs> evil things if they're evil and clean. <laughs> okay. I, I'm gonna poke it. <laughs> oh with what your finger or yeah I'm just gonna I'm gonna poke it with my finger like kind of tap him <laughs> okay Kia go ahead because that's what Kia would do <laughs> no I would not okay maybe I would <laughs> I would oh. tell Marlo to do it for me <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of walk up and tap him a little okay <laughs> Um, well, surprisingly enough, your finger goes straight through it. You suddenly realize that while it looks solid, it is in fact not solid. Hmm. Uh-huh. Like, huh. Ooh, this may just it? be a way to keep an eye on us, but who would be doing that? But it doesn't retaliate in any way, shape, or form. In fact, it doesn't even seem to care that you're touching it. Like, it's still turning its head left and right, checking on everybody. All right, well, mm. that leaves the chests. Um. No, well, maybe... Maybe it's like a surveillance camera, because we totally know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> made it? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, yeah it's underneath. It this is Logitech. <laughs> um, but surveillance, maybe, I mean... Maybe it's Renaissance, like, watch Skull. Watch Skull, because, you know, why, why get a dog? No, I'll get a Skull. It'll be better. Dog won't survive way down here without. Well, that's yeah. true. I'll probably get acid washed, like you know, <laughs> you yeah, and Mickey. Yeah, lap up the, that acid. <laughs> well, it's clearly insubstantial, and it hasn't made an aggressive movement against us. That doesn't mean it won't if we try to open one of these chests. But it's either it's that, or we just go in the pressure, pressure. plate. Pressure Maybe plate. it won't make an aggressive plate. move unless we make an aggressive move. I think it's just surveilling us. Have you tried okay. turning it on and off again? <laughs> it's either pressure plate that's humming electricity, or, you know, 
chests. I'm going to do detect magic on the chests in my vicinity. All right, so like in your arc, which would probably get you the top three, um, they all appear to radiate magic. Well, probably because there's magical items in them, and we should open them. Wait, detect magic, you know, the chests themselves are magical. That's what you told me, right, Gore? Yeah, they're radiating magic. Oh, even the chests. Right, because you can hide a magical item between something that's not, and you won't see it. Okay. Just making that sh you got that. All right. Please be a four mimics. <laughs> All right. So, um, Raisa, what do you think we should do? I mean, <laughs> do we do we want to open the chest? I have a feeling. My gut is telling me that that's just another form of the trap, right? Maybe Put, only lay one everything thing. out to bear. And then see how greedy you are. See, yeah, see how ready you are to pounce on it. <laughs> well, what do we know about this Renison guy? We know he dick. wanted to help people, but people were too greedy. Right. So he took it away. So that's a good. That's a good theory. Like, what if we touch one of the chests and then we get attacked by the skull that becomes something more or something? So maybe we should deal with the door first. Maybe the chests have something to do with the door. All the chests look different. Can we tell what they're made of? Oh, that's um, interesting. Not really, from not unless you get close enough to write, really examine them. The first two I would have been able to check out. At the first glance, you would think that they are probably made from... Dare I say it, bone? Oh. Uh, the first one is like tarnished bone with like a leather bounding like across the middle of the top. The second one is like bone with a leather binding across the top of that, like a piece of black leather cloth. And then some like support bars, like little strengthening struts that go across the top. The so other I one probably is would like have said blood that. red. Okay, well, I probably would have said that when I originally looked at them because it's a little odd. So, yeah, well, guys, I, these aren't made of wood. Okay. I yeah. They look like bone. Let's maybe wait to open this. Maybe they're his go. bones. Oh, gross! You think if we open the chest, he'll become like real? Like I don't know. Marlo's an idiot, so she's going to suggest this. <laughs> 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 yes, Marlo, go open a chest. Are you saying this in jest, or do you really want me to do that? I'm, yeah, you I'm have to remember sarcasm Marlo and Marlo don't go don't go hand in hand that well. <laughs> but that doesn't sit well with Kia. Um, okay, someone trigger the pressure point. Let's just get this over with. Uh, how do we want to do that? How should we do it? Put an item on it and see what happens. Okay. What about this your morning star fall? Uh, nice try, but no. <laughs> Something else, please. Okay. I don't really have items. Well. Of any what if we drag a chest onto it? Those are heavy, probably. <sighs> I don't want to step on it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take uh, Rochek's axe, which I do actually have. That and big, massive, two-handed axe that's oversized. And I'm going to toss it. Oh, you it. have it? Okay. I'm gonna to toss it onto the thing, so I'm not touching it while I okay, drop it. Okay, so you want to throw it onto the pressure plate? Yes. All right. It lands on it and goes clang, clang, clang. Clearly, the metal plate, or clearly the pressure plate, is metal. Okay. Um, but nothing other than that happens. Does it press all the way down, or is it like only like halfway? Um, doesn't look like it depressed it at all. Mm. Are we going to take a very? We're going to take a very short break.